Hey guys, it's Pinkstar. Welcome back to another video. Um, hopefully the lighting isn't too bad because it's night time, so it's quite dark. Um, so I'm having to use artificial lights and hopefully it's not too bad a quality. But anyway, um, I got a new bookcase, so I have just spent the day organizing all of my books. Um, so I thought I would show you guys a bit of a before and after of my bookcases um, and I've done a bit of an unhaul as well of a few books that I'm going to be getting rid of so I thought I'd show you guys that so yeah liking how my bookcases are looking I do have a few more books that are coming at the moment um, and once I get those I think I'll do a book haul because I have a heap to talk about so yeah <laughs> All right, so we are done for now. Um, this took a long time. <laughs> and I realized that my middle shelf is really wonky. Um, yeah, it's not the best, but it is what it is. Um, and this shelf here, this actual, like, the middle section was buckling, so I had to fix that, but here we are all my books at the moment. I do have a couple coming that'll fit into gaps. So there's one in here, um, the middle scythe book I still need to get. I'm really annoyed still that Bronze Beast is smaller than the other two. I don't know why, but it is. Um, and I have obviously my Lord of the Rings shelf, my kind of school favorites sort of thing harry potter twilight aragon and then up here we have just some more young adult stuff um that top shelf's also like young adult some of my faves um and then over here i've got stephanie garber and this is going to be my sarah j Mass stuff so i've got um Throne of glass that's going to go in there, and down here we just have some kind of like adult fantasy um, with some a little bit of sci fi in there. And here is my Water Warcraft shelf, so that if I say is that. Um, I really like that reed slide that I bought, yeah, it's better, it's not amazing, but it'll do for now. <laughs> Alright, so first up I have a few books that I actually semi-unhauled the last time I did my bookshelves, but I never did like an unhaul video and I've still got them, they're just sitting here, so I'm actually going to unhaul them properly this time. So first off we have uh, Do This For You by Chrissy Chella, so this is just like a wellness book that I had, I've read it. Don't really need it any longer it was you know it was good at the time i enjoyed it i do like chrissy chella as a person um i like her apps and things for fitness and yeah but i don't need this book in my bookcase so i'm getting rid of it all right next we have unforgiven this is uh, one of lauren kate's fallen books it's like a spin-off it's not like part of the fallen series um, it's about one of the side characters and it was okay I read it it wasn't great it's probably my least favorite um, I have kept all the rest of the like fallen series because I did enjoy that when I read it originally um, and I may read it again sometime but I definitely won't read this one the characters just didn't really interest me and the story was just a bit average so getting rid of that. Right and the other ones I had from my last um, shelf clean out was um, Shiver. <laughs> so if you saw my, I can't remember what month it was, one of my um, monthly wrap ups I did, this is the only DNF that I had this year. 
um, and it sat on my shelf for about, I don't know, like eight years or something before I ended up reading it and it was terrible so I'm getting rid of that. Also getting rid of the second book which I bought at the same time as I bought the first one and the third one <laughs> forever so I'm getting rid of all three of those because if I didn't like the first one I ain't reading the rest so yeah. Alright and so for this unhaul first off we have um, the House of Night series. I can't remember which one's the first one. I think it's marked maybe. I think this might be the first one. Anyway I have like this many of them. It's not the whole series and I can't get the rest of the series to match. Um, yeah I can't find them anywhere and so I never ended up reading this even though it's really cool. Look at the rainbow. I love it. Even though it seems interesting, it's just, I feel like this might be a bit too young now. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's YA. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't really interest me like it used to. And the fact that I can't read the whole thing and I've only got half the series. If I do decide to read it, I think I'll just pick it up on Kindle. But I don't need these on my bookshelf. Taking up space for other books that I actually love, so... Uh, next we have the Iron Raven. This is a Iron Fae like spin-off book from the like I think it's like the next series after the Iron Fae series. I haven't read the Iron Fae series. This book randomly appeared in my mailbox one day. I don't know where it came from. Um, like literally wasn't wrapped or anything like just in my letterbox like this. So. I don't know um, but I don't think I'm ever going to read it and I would need to read the Iron Face series first. If I do read that I'll probably read it on Kindle as well um, and you know if I do really like the series and I do want to read this I'll read it on Kindle later on. I just I will get it from the library. I don't know. I just don't need it on my bookshelf because yeah I just I don't so all right, next up is actually one of my favorite books, <laughs> which is Empire of the Storms by Sarah J Maas. I am getting the whole series for Christmas, so I don't need to hold on to this one physical book that I have. The rest, I read the rest of the Throne of Glass series on my Kindle, and I got this one because I was at the airport and they had it, and I was going on holiday, and I hadn't brought my Kindle, and I wanted to read it, so I purchased it. Um, yeah, so it was good. I really enjoyed this one. This is probably one of my favorites out of the Throne of Glass books from what I can remember. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm getting the whole series, so I don't need one random extra copy of this. So I'm going to be passing this on. Um, yeah, I don't know. I do like this copy. It's pretty. But yeah, and I am looking forward to eventually rereading throne of glass series but yeah for now this one's going all right and lastly we have two books that i have actually read this year um the first one being our song by daddy atkins i did enjoy this book but um it doesn't fit on my bookshelf i needed to make space and it's not a favorite and my bookcase is kind of reserved for like all my favorite fantasy novels so when I purchased this one I mean it is like a secondhand library book it was like three dollars when I purchased this I just wanted it to read I wasn't planning on keeping it anyway so I'll probably end up giving this one to my works library so that some other people in my work can read it and lastly we have another one that I read this year The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren also one that it was cheaper for me to buy the physical copy than it was to get it on Kindle, which is why I got it in physical. I did enjoy this, but once again, it's not a favorite and it just doesn't really fit on my bookshelf. I have like a few random books, but um, yeah, mostly all my books are fantasy and it just doesn't fit being a romance. And as I said, I'll probably never read it again. It was, I've read it. I know what it's like. The only reason I purchased it physically was because, as I said, cheaper than getting it on Kindle. Um, and at the time I didn't have a library card, so 
Yeah, which I now have because I don't know why I never had a library card in the first place. Who knows? Anyway, I've got one of those now, so <laughs> that's fun. Also realized that I can get audiobooks and ebooks from the library, which is fantastic. So that's that. All right, so that is all the books that I'm unhauling for now. There are a couple that are on my shelves that are kind of like iffy. Um, a few that I just haven't read yet, and once I've read them, I probably will unhaul them. So yeah, we might do another unhaul once I've read those. But for now, that is it. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos from me. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.